Here I stand in the dramatic lighting with a gorgeous 65 uh, fastback. We looked at a bunch of them on Saturday and they were, they were all K codes. They were all gorgeous Shelby's. And there's a little piece of history right here that this guy gets to rub his hands all over. So check it out. Sanders, 1965, two plus two. There I'm uh, running a block over this, over Sanders' hood a little bit. And uh, it's working on the passenger quarter. This is a, this is guide coat. You can see it better on back right here. Just shows the lows um, really well. This is etching primer I sprayed on just to give it a little something to cover it with over the weekend. This isn't really meant for blocking, so it's really going to give us a, a hard time with our sandpaper. But that's we don't have a choice. That's all we have. So um, he's getting this pretty pretty good here, pretty well blocked in. Um, it's looking good. So, we're attacking it today. Guys, here is Sandra's car, and I'm going to show you a little tip that Sky's pointing out to me that's helped me a lot with blocking and doing all this body work on it. Usually, when people want to feel for highs and low spots, naturally, most people want to go, Oh, yeah, it's high or it's low. Well, that's wrong. You won't be able to accurately feel this well with just three fingers. What you can do is put your hand flat on here, and you'll feel a lot more detail about what's going on with the car in a sense of depth. You'll be able to feel high and low spots way better by using your whole hand if you can't see it visibly with your eye. And uh, that's, that's about it on that tip.